I'm talking about preservatives and chemicals that clog up your digestive system, irritate your bowels, and get turned into ugly fat. Many are amazed how kicking just a few things from your diet can make your bathroom habits more regular, clear up your skin, and give you incredible amounts of energy. I'll show you why in a minute, and today I'm also going to show you my four natural weight loss helpers, all from Mother Nature, that you can find in most organic grocery stores. If you're suffering from unwanted weight gain, pay close attention. These four natural solutions are not diet tricks. Although many of my patients will tell you they work like magic, what they do is improve your digestion and help you process food with maximum efficiency. This allows you to eat your favorite food without guilt and without feeling bloated. Yes, even carbs. Update. Since I first released this video, I'm flattered it's gone viral. It's been viewed over 1 million times and gotten to the point where I'm receiving dozens of thank you letters every single day from people all around the world. People like Wendy. She writes, Dr. Amy Lee, thank you for this video. I used your four natural ways to improve my digestion and my tummy feels better and looks slimmer. My bathroom habits are normal again and thanks to number three, I don't crave junk anymore. And Lisa from Agora, California writes, Thank you, Dr. Lee. I always thought I'd have to change my diet to lose weight, and I just couldn't motivate myself to do it for more than a few weeks. This has made it much easier, and I couldn't be happier with the way I look. I never thought I could be this thin again. I love getting these letters. It's amazing what a big difference a few small changes can make to your body. So let's get started. Oh, before I do, I encourage you to grab a pencil and paper or open up a Word doc to take some notes. Because while this presentation is brief, I'm going to share some things you will want to write down. These are the same tips I give my celebrity patients here in Los Angeles who pay me thousands of dollars to help them shed fat quickly for new movie roles. However, I'm giving it all away free today because I feel it's time you were told the real truth about fat loss and you shouldn't have to come to Los Angeles or be a movie star to get it. I swear on the degrees and certifications given to me by the American Board of Internal Medicine, the National Board of Physician Nutrition Specialists, and the American Board of Obesity Medicine to give you nothing but the facts. This information comes from my years of experience helping everyone from those who need to get bikini ready for summer to severe cases where patients need to lose large amounts of weight quickly or risk a life-ending heart attack. Regardless of your situation, I'm confident this information, if you apply it, will give you the results you're looking for. So. Put your phone on airplane mode for a minute here and get ready to take some notes. What you are about to see and hear will shock you, but it could also change your life. Let's start with harmful foods. Harmful food number one is yogurt. Did you know that General Mills Yoplait yogurt, which is also marketed to children as yogurt pops called Gogurt, contains twice as much sugar as an entire bowl of their cereal Lucky Charms? Yes, it's true. The way yogurt is marketed makes me sick. Fortunately, our American court system agrees. In 2013, General Mills paid $8.5 million to settle a class action lawsuit that claimed their Greek yogurt was not even a yogurt at all. Beware of any yogurt with added sugars. Keep in mind, a six ounce yogurt should have about 13 grams of naturally occurring sugar from milk, so anything over 20 grams is a big no-no. Also, beware of any yogurt claiming to give you probiotic benefits. When yogurt is pasteurized, it kills off many of those good bacteria. So unless you're making your yogurt at home, you're not going to get enough probiotic benefits to make a noticeable difference in your digestive tract. Also, steer clear of any yogurt containing the number one fat-forming ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. That leads me to my number two harmful food, wheat bread. 
You may have heard brown bread is better for you than white bread. Yes, that can be true. However, again, the big companies are taking advantage of you here. Both Wonder Bread Stone Ground 100% whole wheat and Pepperidge Farm 100% whole wheat cinnamon raisin swirl bread contain large amounts of my number one fat forming ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. A 2004 study done at the University of Louisiana Medical Center by Dr. George A. Bray linked high fructose corn syrup to the rising rate of obesity in the United States. And I agree. Why is it so bad? 20 times sweeter than sugar, fructose is a chemical that isn't recognized by our brains. High fructose corn syrup confuses your ghrelin, which is the hormone that tells you when you're hungry. It also disrupts leptin production, which is the I'm full hormone. When these two hormones are out of whack, you never know when you're full. So, what does your body do? It tells you to eat more and more and more. Dr. David Kessler, former head of the Food and Drug Administration, recently appeared on CBS News exposing how high fructose corn syrup literally forces your brain to make you eat more than you should. If you've found yourself addicted to carbs and sweets, this is probably why. In a minute, I'm going to show you my natural fix for kicking this addiction, which alone could help you hit your weight goal, as if you're currently addicted, you may be eating for two. Doctors have said it to be eight times as addictive as cocaine or heroin, and new evidence shows over 80% of the American population could be hooked. After what I've seen from my experience, I agree. You see, one thing our bodies are extremely good at is turning unknown substances into fat. The reason we do this dates back to how our bodies were designed thousands of years ago when we got our food by hunting and gathering. Because we never knew when the next meal was coming. Our bodies would store fat in case of tough times. When you consume things like sugar or high fructose corn syrup, things our bodies were never designed to digest, our bodies get confused. So, It does the only thing it knows how to do with the foreign substance. It adds it to your waistline, love handles, or butt. So beware of any food that contains high fructose corn syrup. You might as well be pouring fat into your waistline. That brings me to my number three harmful food, cereal bars. Kellogg's Special K is marketed as one of the premier healthy cereals on the shelf. Yet, in Special K Vanilla Crisp cereal bars, sugar is the component of the first ingredient and then emerges again as corn syrup. Fiber One Oats and chocolate bars contain corn syrup, sugar, high maltose corn syrup, sugar cane fiber, and fructose. Honey Nut Cheerios Milk in cereal bars have sugar, brown sugar syrup, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, and plain old fructose. If that's a recipe for plain old weight gain, if you ask me. Okay, now that I've told you the three foods you must avoid, it's time for me to share my four natural fat loss helpers. However, before I do, I need to warn you, these four fat loss helpers can allow you to get away with eating more of the foods that aren't great for you, as they'll help your body better digest them and turn them into energy instead of fat. However, there's one carb you should never eat, no matter what. Can you guess how this carb is marketed to you? If you guessed a health food, you're correct. This carb is marketed to you in the form of a fat-free potato chip. Its scientific name is Olestra. Olestra was created by Procter and Gamble to be a calorie and cholesterol-free fat substitute. However, soon after Olestra appeared on the market, my colleagues and I fought back. We started educating the public to the dangers of this nasty carb. So how did the food conglomerates respond? They renamed it to Olean. Isn't that sneaky? Not only did they change the name to try and fool you, they put the word lean in it. It's truly appalling. However, 
with all the more reason we the public need to educate ourselves. So give yourself a pat on the back for watching this presentation today and